guys what's happening. So, always had an issue with this, uh, these red devils, uh, drawing more power than my other ones, my sapphires. So on the top here I have a couple sapphires, and they pull about 90 watts. Uh, they do with the same mega hash, but my issue is these seem to be draw a lot more power. And this, this, you know, this is not 100% accurate. I even have power meters. So I definitely know these ones actually draw more uh, power. But with these GPUs, there's actually a BIOS switch, you know, overclock and silent BIOS. And let me show you a couple other things too, but I'm actually going to try to downgrade this thing to a non-XT BIOS. So it's going to be a 5700, but non-XT. And hopefully it will actually draw less power and, uh, yeah, I can hopefully retain about the same hash rate. So right now I'm not even stressing these right now. I'm not even actually memory overclocking them. So that's why they're actually kind of low. Normally when I overclock that memory, I can get to about 55. 56 mega hash, but uh, yeah, I do actually get some crashes on this GPU 3 down here. So I want to go through here and let me show you this uh, where you can get the BIOS from. All right, so here is the BIOS page. You can actually either download this from your device, and uh, but you can also get it here. So I, I, it's easier for me just to get it here. So right now you're looking at the uh, 5700 XT Red Devil. So if you look at these different pages, uh, where's Red Devil right here? You'll see that there's actually the overclock BIOS, which is a uh, 220 watt here. Then the actual the silent BIOS for this card is the 180 watt. Um, that's not it right there. So I'm gonna try to flash not the not, I'm actually this this is next T BIOS right here by the way. So I'm gonna go back and see that the the silent BIOS is 180 watt. So my goal is I was thinking this thing is crashing because I'm trying to undervolt the the processor. Uh, or the GPU, and it's somehow crashing my card. I can't get it low enough because I'm still in, like the higher BIOS, the 220 watt BIOS. So let me show you. Go back here and do a selection. For some reason, you have to go back to all. Choose XT and Red Devil or uh, right here. All right. So there should be. That's 180 watt. That's the overclock BIOS, and then. You'll know because it will actually be down to 160 watt. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna show you my cards real fast. I'll show you my current power consumption, and I'm gonna try to downgrade the BIOS to a uh, hopefully a more energy efficient BIOS. Right, so here is the brick in question. These are the two red devils here. So I'm currently doing about uh, 700 watts. Fluctuates somewhere from like 695 to 710. So if I could save about 20 20 watts, and maybe gain or keep the same hash rate, that'd be cool. So. On these cards and all these higher end cards, you have a dual BIOS. So there's a little BIOS switch. Right now, I'm currently in the overclock position. I'm going to switch it over to the uh, silent position. And that way, in case this thing gets corrupted, I can actually flip it back and start mining it again. So, um, yeah, pretty cool that you have a dual BIOS, you know, backup BIOS. All right, so I'm actually going to try this with just uh, the, the unbiOS modded. XT, Sapphire, Sapphire. So as you can see, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I got these down to the, the core voltage on a 690, and I couldn't do that with the power colors without crashing them. So like 710, it became kind of unstable. But uh, so right now, these should be the silent BIOS, and let's just apply a flight sheet to it and see what happens to it. I'm gonna do a Team Red Miner, mine over to Nice Hash, and let's see what happens here. Yeah, for some reason I always get these, uh, when I first can't get the pool, I get those air, air, like the red arrows or whatever. Okay. I'm just curious what the hash rate and power consumption will be. Like I said, I have my cell phone so I can see what the change is. So it, it fluctuate around like a 695 to 710 power consumption. Mm, I haven't picked up any shares yet. All right, so it takes a while, a couple seconds for the, uh, there we go, it's picking up shares to get the up to full hash rate. Uh, okay, so that's about halfway there. Uh, so far, same ca power consumption. So I'm currently looking at my cell phone and, well, we're not at full power, full hash rate yet, but 
I'm curious to see what the hash rate will be. Same hash rate. Because I guess I'm right now I'm not overclocking the memory. But just even with the non, you know, the stock firmware on the on the card, I'm saving right now I'm about 685 watt. So I'm definitely saving some power just by switching from the overclock BIOS to the silent BIOS. So next, I'm gonna let this run for a couple minutes, see if it's stable or not. Then I'm gonna come back and go into cards, and, uh, cards, and then I'm actually gonna upload my uh, uh, VBIOS storage. I've already actually uploaded and modded these. I've actually made several videos on how to mod these uh, 5700 XT BIOS. So this is my non-XT BIOS, and this is the XT BIOS. This is the more energy efficient BIOS. It's already been modded. The memory timings have been copied to 1500. So I made other videos about that. But so this is actually how I'm gonna flash them. But I'm gonna first back up the other one. Uh, so let's go back to 4 GPU minor. Okay. So it's funny. So yeah. Even though it shows that it's actually pulling more power here than it was before, um, I am down about 15 watts. All right, so let me run this. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna mod the BIOS. All right, so it's been about a year since I've actually had to flash these things. I think I got these about a year and a half ago. Um, yeah, I got them for like 400 bucks when they were super cheap before they got scalped. Um, all right, so I'm gonna select the V BIOS here. The non XT BIOS right here. That's this one right here. Force. I don't want to reboot it yet because I have two to do. So I'm going to do the same thing for the both power colors, like VBIOS and force it. All right, then I'm going to come back, and when it's done, it will give me a indicator up here and uh, reboot. All right, so it looks like flashing is complete. Let's go back to that worker. And so what I'm hoping for is I'm going to reboot this uh, system right now. This will come back up as a Radeon RX 5700 non-XT. This will be removed. All right, so let's go back. We'll uh, reboot it. All right, so I did a reboot here, and these are showing up as 5700s and non-XTs. Let's go back. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes for the GUI to update. Okay, perfect. There we go. All right, we'll apply flight sheet. Uh, and my goal is I want to inch, inch this down here my uh, core voltage. All right, team room lighter. Let's see what this does. All right, once I get back up to full hash rate, I will uh, come back. All right, so there's no real difference in the uh, power consumption. It's staying around the same. I mean, I'm down about 10 watts now from what previously before, but um, let's see if I can set these down, the core voltages here. And I'll go down as far as I can go before it becomes unstable. Let's go to 720. I'm hoping because before it would actually, uh, I lowered the actual uh, TDP, that maybe I can get these down further. Um, yeah, this is not even real. I, I don't know how accurate this stuff is. The these on here, the uh, the graphical interface. You need a power meter to know for sure. Okay, so that actually brought power consumption up. Mm, now it's down a little bit. So it's like anytime I make a change, I'm gonna wait like 10 or 15 minutes and look at it, see what it does. So power consumption also has to do with mode you're in. So right now I'm currently in B mode, and that's actually the more power efficient mode for Team Redminer. So this seemed to go up. My power consumption went up by about 10 watts when I actually brought this down. So you'd think it would do the opposite. Let's go down to 710 and see what happens. That is weird. You'd think the power consumption would go down. But I don't know. For me, it went up. All right, so I'm keep on looking at this thing. I noticed that the power consumption has actually gone down on this last one here. But one of the issues sometimes is if you go too low with the uh, core voltage, there won't be enough power to start the card. So see right there? So if you were at the start the miner, it won't start the card because there's enough power to it. So it's sort of like a like a car, I guess. Right now you need more actually juice to start the start the engine. Uh, 
bring this down to 700 here. Because I can see what it's consuming, right? So you don't want to be what it, at the very... I said you need a little extra that wiggle room to be able to start the, start the card. 700. Let's see here. Still mining. If a card goes offline, you'll see the, the power consumption right here go down. All right, so it's been going for a while, and one thing I've noticed is that before, when I would get to about 710, it would start becoming unstable. It would crash the rig, so if this could actually just make this thing more stable from not rebooting all the time, I mean, that'd be cool too, you know? But really, I mean, I, I, don't, I mean, I saved about 5 watts so far. It fluctuates a lot, so... Um, I don't know, I'm going to keep an eye on this thing and see if I get any reboots, but, you know, you don't know if you try, you know? You, Alright, so this has been going for a while, and one thing I've noticed is that it's a lot more stable now than it was before. Like before when I get to about 720, 710, it would actually start crashing, the, the GPUs would go offline. So that would be nice if this could become more stable here, and I wouldn't get the reboots, because every time the whole rig reboots, I'm obviously losing hash rate. Um, Alright, I'm going to keep an eye on this. Hopefully I don't get any more of those reboots, but... I mean, benefit-wise, I mean, I could, I mean, I haven't really overclocked the memory yet, just because I want to see how stable this is. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, I could actually make these things actually hash higher to like 55, 56, maybe possibly 57. But I'm trying to keep the memory temperatures low. Uh, this one was running. I might have to repaste this one right here. But as you can see, 80, 80, 80. You know, so they're pretty low except for this one right here. So, um, but this actually is in the center of the rig. Actually, I'm going to swap these cards around here because, I mean, GPUs are kind of like kids where they all kind of act the same because they're children, but then they all have their different, you know, the different personalities. So they all act differently, different, you know, hash rates, different, uh, you know, temperatures. So um, I'm going to swap these around. Hopefully I can move them around on the rig where it's giving me more, a little bit more even here because this card is definitely, uh, I, I'm going to put this one on the outside so it gets better air airflow. All right, so I let this thing run overnight. Had a couple reboots, but uh, I was able to get down the core voltage down to 685 on the sapphires and 695 on the red devils. Um, cool thing is I was never able to get below 710, 720 um, here on the on the red devils without the thing crashing. So that definitely made a difference there. Um, so I gained a few mega hash, and I also. Um, saved about 15, 20 watts. So, yeah, it's currently pulling uh, 681. That kind of fluctuates anywhere from uh, 675. So, that's, that's pretty awesome. I'm still going to mess around with this and see if I can get down any lower, but um, I typically will make a change and I'll let it wait for like uh, 15 minutes or even an hour just to make sure it's not going to crash. But, uh, all right, cool. So it does actually work. But uh, so when I go to resell these things, I'm going to have to flash them back, but it's not a big deal. All right, awesome. <laughs> Thank you.